I, uh, my eyeball has something in it. It's your finger. Yeah. Yeah. See? It's oh, your it finger. Ha! <laughs> finger! Oh! Yeah, you! So fucking stupid! Hey! 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 131. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week, we have entered Halloween time! Ooh. Four weeks of non-stop Halloween action. This is my favorite time of year. Mine too. Yeah. Best time of year, folks. And this week, to start off, our 30, well... 31st annual <laughs> horror fest? <That's>, wow. <laughs> horror fest, I suppose, is what we used to call it. Yeah. Our four weeks of Halloween, we watched... Adam. <laughs> the barn. The barn. <laughs> Adam in the barn. 2016, not rated 90 minutes. Directed by, um... I can't say these people's <laughs> names, man. They all sound like porn stars. They do. They really do. Directed by Justin Seaman. Uh-huh. Starring Mitchell... If you want to say it, Mussolino. Oh, yeah. I bet it's Mitchell yeah. Mussolino. Will Stout. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Lexi Drips. Uh-huh. See, they are, literally. Does that say how? Yeah. Were you having a seizure while you were writing? We were in the car. Oh, it was yeah, bouncy. Sure. And yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Rob, why don't you tell them what the movie's about? The movie is about now a... Now that we're at the end of the episode. <laughs> the movie's about a barn. Thank you. <laughs> Care to elucidate any further? So, basically, it's about a barn. And they get stuck at the barn, it ends up being the barn. And, uh, crap ensues. Yeah. That pretty much sums it up. But that doesn't mean shit to anybody. That right. What you just said there is dumb. So what did we like, Adam? I'll let you start since that uh, first watch for you. You know what? I like this movie. I liked it a lot. It was cool. I liked that it felt like the 80s. It felt like an 80s movie. Um, it had that old kind of film grain feel to it. And they even had a couple like little cigarette burns and little pops here and there. But it, w it wasn't ever overdone. Yeah. Also, it felt like Halloween. And that is great to me, because this is my favorite time of year. Yeah. So, that feeling of being a kid in the 80s at Halloween time, it's oh. like, there's just nothing better than that. Right. That, yeah, they nail both of those perfectly. Yes. And that's uh, what you want. I mean, uh... Uh... <laughs> uh... Oh. Oh. The story is fairly simple. But it was a pretty straightforward story, and it yeah. starts out right away, and it goes, and never lets up. Yeah. I mean, there's, uh, it's good. There was boobs. Yeah. Did you pick up that they were stunt boobs, though? No, I did not. They actually said in the credits who played the boobs. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you mentioned something. Yeah, and wondering. it was someone different. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. That like, is. Stunt boobs never get their own credit. That's true. <laughs> uh, the gore was awesome in this. The gore was really, really good. All practical. Yeah. That's one thing I love about indie horror is practical gore. Because they can't afford. They can't afford that. Not junk. to do it. But that's good though. That's a <laughs> that's a win. And it looked good. And it wasn't overdone. Yeah. You get to see a lot of it, and it was kind of a quick shot of a lot of stuff. But it looked good. Yeah. Lots of blood, severed heads, stuff. Yeah. I like it. I like the monsters. Yeah. Most of them. The miner was a little kind of like, eh, yeah, not the strongest. Uh, which, considering he was supposed to be the main bad right, right. of the three, was really funny to me. But the other two, especially, were just phenomenal. Right. They looked so good. The Scarecrow, the Pumpkin Guy. Yeah. I think the Pumpkin Guy was my favorite. Yeah. Um, you know, for an indie movie, this was really, really well done. Just across the board, yeah. everything about it was really, really well done. Production quality, the yeah, the 80s, the, what they did for that. You know, it's, <coughs> it looked very good. They, they nailed it. They yeah. nailed Lexi Drips. I like the characters in this. Yeah. You know, they, they weren't ever done. I mean, the, the two leads, you know, Mr. Mussolino and Will Stout, their characters were like best, best friends. They're like, like us. Like us. Right. And they love Halloween like us. Like us. And we're friends. Well, yeah. You're touching my beard. I like touch it. Okay. What did you say when you touched mine? You said it was something. I I, I don't, don't even know. remember now. It was like a, <laughs> like a Brillo pad. <laughs> With the mold on it? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a car is starting up, man. The two of us are horrible at this. just can't get going. We, neither one of us are good at presenting shows. No, we're not. The but music. Be, but be, <laughs> the music to this movie was great. 
the music nailed the 80s vibe, like that heavy oh. metal horror vibe. Oh, it was spot on. Dude, whoever did the soundtrack to this movie, you deserve a raise. Straight up, you deserve a raise because you nailed it perfectly. Come on, Seaman, give it to him. <laughs> Ending was good. <laughs> ending was good. Yeah, I, liked, I liked it. It was kind of an open ending. Like, could keep going. You know, if they do a sequel, yeah. I would be okay with that. Come on, Seaman. So what didn't we like about this movie? Put Lick in the Hole. I honestly, there's really nothing I really dislike about this movie. Yeah. It's basically all a nitpick. Nitpick. Yeah. Everything I have was kind of, was little, little yeah. things. I mean, no, it's not perfect. No. no. But it's, uh... My biggest thing, and, and so here's the problem. This didn't look like an indie movie. It looked like a movie that had a pretty decent yeah. budget. Yeah. And the downside of that is you're going to get reviewed like a movie that had a decent budget, not like an indie movie. Because if this had looked like an indie movie, we would have set expectations low. Right. Lower. Right. You looked like a big, big budget movie. So, little things, yeah, little things stood like out more. Like the fact the audio felt mm -hmm. really off. It felt like it was floating over the movie instead of coming out of the movie. I don't know how else to describe that. Yeah. But if you see it, you'll understand exactly what I mean. Um, I all float. I think they... I don't know if it was an issue with the way they did the ADR on it or what. They needed to yeah, push the, the voices into the movie because it felt like they were separate from it. Yeah. On, a, on an indie movie, would never even notice <clears> it. <throat> right. You looked like a big budget movie, though. So, you so get it stands that, out. Yeah. Right. And I've never, I never noticed that. But now that you say that, I guess I could see that. Yeah. I've seen it three or four times now. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Me. Uh, it could use more boobs, of course. Well, of course. You know, and more gore. And more gore. Yeah. A little um, bit more of it both would, wouldn't hurt. I'll always probably say that. I'm kind of over the whole rules thing. Okay, you had Scream with Rules to Survive a Horror Movie. You yep. had Zombie Land with Rules to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. There have been a thousand other movies that did it. Those are the two that did it really, really well. Right. It's kind of cliche at this point. I'm kind of over that. Uh, yeah. Like, he had his rules of Halloween, and they all came into play throughout the course of the night. I don't want it to sound like I hate this movie, man. I fucking love this movie. Yeah. This was great. Yep, but then that's about it, I Ooh. think, for this. I mean... I said, I love this yeah, movie. Yeah, none of those were, like, big. No. Nothing no, no. horrible at all. I mean, no. this was a great movie. Right, it was. And the acting was good for Indy. We didn't really say that, but... Yeah, that's it, true. They were all really well done. They did They did a fine job. They... So, overall, I love this movie. This is a must-watch every Halloween season for me. I've seen it three, four times. Uh, and... I love it! It's Hi. great. <laughs> Justin, How's it going, buddy? Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Justin Seaman, uh, make another one. I'll watch it. I'll buy it. Yeah. I give this movie 10 out of 10. Or 10 out of 8. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <coughs> 10 out of 8 is what I give it. Go watch it. Well, I'm not quite as high on this movie as you are, but it's a perfect 8 out of 8 for me. Dude, that's perfect score. Yeah. Maybe that's it, not bad. Maybe on a second watch. Maybe next Halloween, maybe. They might go up. Two more, you never know. Yeah. So, we both highly The more I see the stunt boobs. The <laughs> stunt boobs. Stunt boobs. Stunt boobies. Yep, yep. So, definitely check it out. Uh, check it out. Yeah, check, check us out. out. Check us out. At? <laughs> Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or at? Instagram at Stupid Movies. At The Horror Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. Or at? The Mall. <laughs> I love this movie enough. I bought the DVD and I bought the Blu-ray when it came out. Yeah. And I have a poster. Go buy it! Watch it now! So if you want to slow that down to normal people talk, <laughs> Rob enjoyed the movie so much that he bought the DVD and then he bought the Blu-ray and he bought a poster. And you should go do the same. I should. Support indie horror, Fire man. Fire kills indie horror. That's right.